All right. So just uh, dream with me for a minute. You're on Oahu. It's post COVID. You're on the vacation of your life and you realize that there are so many hikes to choose from, but you can't remember the last time you even stepped off the pavement. It's all good because there are so many hikes on Oahu that are great for beginners, any level of fitness. And in this episode, we're going to cover the top five easiest hikes on Oahu that you can't miss on your next vacation. So stay tuned. Welcome to Hawaii's Best Travel Podcast, where we help you prepare for your next trip to Hawaii. Discover the experiences, businesses, and stories that make Hawaii the Aloha State. And now your host, Brian Murphy. Aloha and welcome to episode 37 of Hawaii's Best, where we help provide tips, resources, and support to help you discover the best of Hawaii on your next trip. Hopefully that's sooner rather than later. As of right now, it looks like September 1st is the date that is slated for Trans-Pacific Travel to open up. We should hear an update from Governor Ige in the next week or so about if that is confirmed or not. So fingers crossed, hoping that is, but we'll keep you posted with the latest and greatest on travel to Hawaii. Well, my name is Brian Murphy and I am the host of Hawaii's Best. I'm also the owner here and at Hawaii's Best, we provide travel guides, tips, and local insight to help get the most out of your stay on the islands. We also love uh, telling stories of the people behind some of these experiences on the island. So if you're new around here, I just want to say welcome. The best way to stay up to date on future episodes is to hit the subscribe button. And if you've been listening for a while, I just want to say thank you so much. Big mahalos to you. You can go ahead and I'd be so encouraged to, if you left a review, an honest review of what you think of the show. And if you have any suggestions about topics or even guests that we can interview on Hawaii's Best, you can email us at contact at hawaiisbesttravel.com and we respond to every email that we get. I just think that's super important to be able to connect in that way. So on today's episode, like I mentioned, we're talking about the best, easiest hikes on the island of Oahu. And now, even though these are, quote, easiest, you're still probably going to be feeling pretty sore after a couple of these hikes. I think one of the best ways to to reduce your soreness is through CBD oil. And recently I found that it has helped me personally with uh, some anxiety and helping fall asleep. Now, at first I was a bit reluctant to try CBD oil for some reason. I thought it was, it kind of felt taboo, but after getting over myself, I uh, I tried it and the team at Matera they want to give Hawaii's best listeners 15% off their first purchase. So if you go to hawaiisbesttravel.com slash CBD and enter the code Hawaii, you will get 15% off your first purchase. This is a brand that I trust and I personally use. I'm actually, I have a screen open right now that I need to reorder uh, some products. So uh, CBD is amazing. It, they, they, it comes in, in gummies, roll-on applications, or, or oil, whatever is, is best for you. My wife, Ali, she uses the, the roll-on application. She's had some car accidents in the past, and, it, and sometimes her, her neck and her shoulder area will flare up. The CBD roll-on really helps relax her muscles and just alleviates some of the pain. So go to hawaiisbesttravel.com slash CBD for 15% off your first purchase, use promo code Hawaii. All right, so let's get you back on the trail. Now, Oahu, like I mentioned, has some of the most incredible hikes in all of Hawaii. And it offers some some really good, easy options as well. Even though that these are easy options, I'm not, don't get me wrong, it there's still going to be, can be pretty trying too. Um, so you just want to take that in, into consideration. But there's some hikes in Hawaii that are just crazy extreme that um, I'm not going to recommend in this episode, maybe in a future episode. Me personally, I'm a family guy. I have three girls. I've talked about them before. Um, I'm married. Like I said, we love getting outdoors. We love going on family hikes. We've never been like huge adventurous, like 
get the rope saddled up. Let's like, let's just shred this mountain right now. We've, we've always been kind of outdoors. We love the outdoors. So I can relate if that is you, um, if that's not you, it's all good. But in this episode, we're talking about the top five easy hikes. And I would say most of these you can do as a family. I would say a family that is a little bit more older. Like if you have kids who are elementary age, they can probably hang on some of these hikes. If you have a newborn or an infant, uh, there are a couple hikes that you can actually use a stroller and they're stroller accessible. So that is an option for you. But for any hike in Hawaii, it's important to remember just a few key things. Probably the most important being is to bring water and lots of water because most of the hikes in Hawaii are like full sun. Some of them you get a little shade break, but it can be super hot and it's important to uh, to bring water and just always stay hydrated because that's just, you know, that's what mom says. So we're going to do that. Um, the other thing is make sure you wear shoes that you don't mind getting muddy. Some of these hikes, a lot of these hikes, uh, there's mud, there's water. So you want to make sure that you have some shoes, probably not your like brand new, you know, Nike running shoes. You probably don't want to do that, but something that you don't mind uh, getting muddy and getting all, all, all messed up. Don't hike in your slippers, you know, your flip flops. Don't do that because that's not going to be fun. Another thing to remember is park responsibly. Many of these trailheads that we talk about are within neighborhoods and parking can be tricky and it can be limited. So just be aware of that. Be aware of where, you know, where to park, you know, don't be drive, don't be blocking people's driveways. If it's trash day, don't be blocking the trash, you know, stuff like that. Just kind of common sense stuff just to be reminded. But I think probably the one thing that might take you off guard is that a lot of these places are kind of off the beaten path and are in the middle of neighborhoods or there's like a small parking lot designated to uh, the trailhead. So you just kind of have to be mindful of where to park, when to park, how to park and all that good stuff. Another thing to remember is just the seven principles of leave no trace. Back in episode 34, we talked with Maddie Leong and Spencer Lee on Oahu about just some things just to be reminded of whenever we're out in nature or when we're ever out, you know, hiking, but it's just like, have respect, think about other people and you're going to have a good time. Now let's go ahead and get into the list. Number one is probably the most famous hike out of all the hikes in Hawaii. And that is the Diamond Head Summit Trail. Now, this hike is 1.6 miles round trip. Takes about two hours. It is hot and dry. So like I mentioned, you're going to want to make sure you bring your water. Uh, The elevation gain in this one is about 560 feet. So there are some stairs just to be aware of. So when I talked about, you know, a stroller friendly hike, this isn't one of those. But if you got, you know, a carrier that you can strap on you, you can probably do this um, with with your little one. Now, the trail to Summit Leahi, which is the name of Diamond Head Crater, was built in 1908 as part of Oahu's coastal defensive system. The walk is a glimpse into, you know, the military history of the volcanic crater. And at the summit, you'll see bunkers on the crater rim and a navigational lighthouse built in 1917 along the coast outside of the crater. Now, when you think of Hawaii, probably one of the most iconic postcard images that come to mind is Diamond Head. And you're going to hike up Diamond Head Summit. And that is just such a cool, cool thing to do. So the trailhead is adjacent to the parking lot within Diamond Head State Monument. The entrance is off of Diamond Head Road between Makapu'u Avenue and 18th Avenue in Honolulu. So entry fee is $5 per vehicle. So that's something to keep in mind, or it's $1 per walk-in visitor. The best time to do the hike on Diamond Head is definitely um, in the morning. You can catch some epic sunrises from uh, this hike. So that's just something to keep in mind. All right, moving along, just not too far away from Diamond Head is Makapu'u Point Lighthouse Trail. This one is two miles round trip. 
and it is also hot and dry. There's not much shade, if any shade, on this hike. It's about a 500-foot elevation gain, and this particular hike is one that is completely paved all the way to the end of the trail. So this one is definitely, if you have a stroller, this is a hike I would definitely recommend. This is one that my family and I, we personally love doing this hike. And if you're hiking between the months of like November and May, there is a chance that you might see some humpback whales along your hike, which is also pretty cool. There's also some lookouts along the way where you can stop, take pictures and do that whole thing, which, uh, which makes the hike even better. It's one of the, I think one of the better hikes, the east side with just some of the views, because once you get up to the top, uh, you can see Rabbit Island. You can see a lot of the um, east side. On the other side, you can see Cocoa Head Crater as you're as you're going up, which uh, which is pretty cool. A parking area offers access to the trailhead. The park and trailhead are located off of off of Highway 72 at the southeasternmost point of Oahu. So, from if you're in Honolulu, from Honolulu, you want to take H1 Freeway East until it becomes Highway 72 and follow that road beyond Hawaii Kai Sandy Beach Park until you reach the park area adjacent to the highway. This is definitely one you don't want to miss because the the paved hike is incredible and the lookouts are amazing. So be sure to hit this one up on your next visit. Number three on the list is Manoa Falls Trail. And it is just a quick drive outside of Waikiki in Manoa Valley. It's about $5 per person if you want to park. This is probably one of the most accessible waterfall hikes on Oahu. It's an incredible fairy tale setting with huge 100-year-old trees, bamboo forests, the whole the whole thing. You think of Lost, you think of Jurassic Park, some of the um, images that conjure up when you think of those those places. This is Manoa Falls. And because of that, this place is sometimes it's open, sometimes it's closed, a lot of times it's closed. So if if you're on Oahu, just be sure to look up to see if it is open because um, rainfall happens quite a bit. It is a muddy hike, so be aware of that. And also you want to make sure you bring bug spray. That's super important on this one. It's a short and heavily trafficked trail, so just be aware of that. But it's incredible. So don't forget your camera. Um, the trail's open from sunup to sundown. However, it's highly recommended to not start the hike after 5.30 p.m. And like I mentioned, this trail can be very muddy and slippery in areas. So I would definitely recommend to not hike when it is raining or it just rained. So just be aware of that. Be smart. This trail is not accessible for baby strollers. So also be aware of that. But if you have, like I mentioned at the beginning of this episode, like elementary age kids, this could probably be one that you guys can do as a family and uh, you won't regret it. All right. Number four, Waimea Valley Trail. This whole valley is pretty epic and full of rich history. So it's not just the trail. It's this whole experience. It is a little bit on the pricier side to get in, but it's totally worth it. It's $20 as of right now per adult and $12 per child. And as you visit this sacred place, just please be mindful to not touch, disturb, or remove any rocks or anything or any objects just out of respect for this truly special place. Waimea Valley is a magnificent botanical garden on Oahu's North Shore with over 5,000 variety of plants and incredible Hawaiian cultural sites. Within this incredible oasis of Waimea Valley is the Waimea Valley Trail. This hike is 1.5 miles round trip and an elevation of only 240. This is something um, I think the whole family could definitely enjoy. You want to make sure you check out Waimea Valley on the north shore of Oahu. And wrapping up the list on the top five Easiest hike to do on Oahu is the Sunset Pillbox Hike on the North Shore. Located behind Sunset Elementary, this hike will take you about 30 minutes to climb to the top. It is 1.6 miles round trip. It is 
pretty covered with with uh, with shade, and it uh, it can be muddy. So be aware of that. The elevation is nine hundred and twelve feet, so you will definitely be doing some climbing. But once you get to the top, after about a, a half hour in the flat terrain and inclines and plateaus, you'll reach the top and you'll get to explore the historic bunker and beautiful surrounding views of the North Shore. And if you're on Instagram, you may have seen pictures of this hike. It's the it's the hike with the, the you know, the big peace signs painted on it on the pillbox. So be sure and you grab your camera with you, get your selfie, get the fam, you know, get the picture of the family and the whole thing. And uh, this is going to be one that the whole family can definitely enjoy. So that's um, the Sunset Beach Pillbox Hike. But what about you? What hike did we miss? What are your favorite hikes on Oahu that is, you know, beginner friendly, someone who doesn't hike all the time, but uh, definitely you're going to work up a sweat on all these hikes. But what about you? What are what are some of your top hikes to do on the island of Oahu? Love to hear uh, from you what those are. And since you made it this far, I would just love it if you could leave a quick and honest review of what you think of the show. And until next time, be well. Aloha. Thanks for listening to Hawaii's Best Travel Podcast. To stay up to date on future episodes, be sure to subscribe. For more information to help you plan your next trip to Hawaii, visit hawaiisbesttravel.com. Thank you.